Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. We're back in Foundry BTT and we're looking at an add-on today. Uh, just before we do that, uh, I just wanted to make a comment about this. Um, so a couple of videos ago we looked at um, doing puzzles where our players can uh, can walk along and they have to follow a specific path or otherwise traps and things get itself. You can hear that happening in the background. Now I'm in my test world. Uh, we built that in my live world um, just to make sure it worked on with all of our other add-ons and things. Um, but one of the things we talked about or I talked about is the fact that the letters show over the top of our characters in this. Um, it's not a, not a deal breaker, um, but it doesn't look great, does it? Um, and n no solution has presented itself of how to deal with that. But of course, the other thing that we have with this is we are using a drawing with the word on it over the top of a tile that has the effect on it. So what I've done, and I'm going to drop this in the comments for you, uh, a link to this, is uh, I went and created um, some tiles. So if I go to my tiles thing, uh, there is a link in the description that will take you to a zipped folder that just has all these images in. Um, and then all you need to do is choose file uh, and you pick up what you need. Um, bring them all in and then we can just drag these tiles out and slap them in place where we want. Now my tiles are too big for this grid because each of the tiles I've created here, they're very simple, um, are 100 by 100 pixels. So if you already know the size of your grids and things, the maps you're using, uh, you can just scale them accordingly. If you're using 50-50, you've scaled these down to half, etc. So I thought I would make them all 100 by 100 pixels. Hopefully that makes them easier to use for most of you. Um, but of course they've already got the letter on. I'm just going to shrink this one. Uh, they've already got the letter on. So we don't need that additional drawing, which is going to save some resources. Let me close that. Uh, and if I right click on this, it, it's a tile. So we can go straight in and say, actually, look, I want it active for when anybody enters this. What are the actions? I can add my actions onto this. Um, and we were using, in this case, an attack on the person. By I haven't got a... I've got gas trap on this one. <laughs> I haven't got my... my uh, uh, my dart trap here um, but then I can select whatever attack it is that they're doing etc and do all of that so it's just a uh, a much cleaner way of doing it a nicer way of doing it just wanted to show you that um, and let, let you know that all of these tiles are available for you to download all right moving on what are we actually here for today let me clear that so uh, you might be aware if you've been following the videos for a while or you happen to have seen that video we looked at an add-on called GM screen which gives us a little pop-up in the bottom right hand corner and that pulls up and it shows us um, whatever we want to put on there and we can configure all sorts of things which is really really nice really like it but the problem is if I go to my manage modules um, and we scroll down and find that this GM screen just here it is really out of date. Uh, last verified for version 10, we're now on version 11. There's lots of talk about version 12 of Foundry coming out and it's not being maintained and updated. So while at the moment it works, at some point it's just going to stop and die um, and nobody's maintaining it. So that's not really a suitable one for moving forward. However, uh, Kent Zeiser, Zeiser, I hope I've said that right, Kent, um, has suggested that we look at the Forgotten Realms Adventures Extensive DM Screen. Okay, so it's Forgotten Adventures Extensive DM Screen, just to make sure I've got that name right. Uh, we're going to look at that one. Now we've looked at some stuff by Forgotten Adventures when we were looking at some of their map resources and things. It's the same people. Uh, or rather, the content is the same people. Uh, let me just check. The actual module is made by uh, Martin Carlson, okay, um, with permission from Forgotten Adventures to integrate their stuff for us. A lot of waffle. Okay, so let's reload and bring that in. What does that do for us? Uh, thank you, Levels. Don't remind me again. That's fine. Um, so if I go over to our Manage Modules, we can see on our active ones, I've got the other bits that we've had on there, but at the top here, we've got Forgotten Adventures is in here. And if I go to configure settings, there are none. 
no settings to configure. Um, also, looking down the left-hand side, uh, there's nothing new here for us. Nope, oh, get rid of levels. <laughs> so what does it actually do? Right, if I go to the compendium, you can see straight away, not in a folder, FA's extensive DM screen. So this is automatically bringing in a compendium for us. If I click on that, it will, just like any of the compendiums, it opens it here. There's only one item, which is the Forgotten Adventures extensive DM screen. Click on that again. And this is what we have. Let's just open this up a bit so we can see it a bit clearer. I know it's a little bit small writing wise, but uh, as long as you know what's in here, you can go and have a look for it. So uh, we are page one here or page zero rather we've got look links to cover links to concentration um, intelligence checks uh, stealth so this is a um, essentially a contents page right here uh, and all of these are links through to the following pages so we've got this combat section here um, all of the different rules around that, improvising damage, two-weapon fighting, because it doesn't happen very often, and people do forget that one. <laughs> um, concentration, if you need a reminder of how that works, or cover. Uh, a general adventuring, squeezing through places, suffocating, uh, resting, light sources, obscured areas, all of that stuff. Um, ability checks, so what kind of things are covered by strength check. Mighty strength, breaking an object, swimming, jumping, climbing, etc. It's all here nice and easy. We've got traveling about pace, services. So, you know, so if we go to services, uh, they're on here down at the bottom right. Um, so we've got some costs and things for a coach cab. And it's the kind of things that players might suddenly blindside you with. And you're like, oh, blimey, I haven't got a clue. You know, I'll get the books out. Have a, you know, or you end up making something up on the spot that isn't appropriate. Um, so really, really useful to be able to have these. And we can, if we just look at page one, um, look at all this stuff. We've got the cover. Uh, we've got about mob attacks, things you can do on your turn. Um, some of this is really fundamental, but a lot of it's really, really useful too. Uh, page two, conditions. What does it mean if you're poisoned? What does it mean if you're incapacitated? How does surprise work? So it's all of these kind of really basic rules that the DM might need at their fingertips um, to be able to do this. You've got about suffocating and light sources on here, but also about strength, dexterity and intelligence checks. We've got wisdom and charisma checks on here, improvising damage, damage types, um, food, water, all sorts of things like that, exhaustion, uh, character advancement if you're using XP, the modifiers. Um, you know, I know it's a bit crammed in, but remember, this is just a quick reference guide rather than to replace the whole rules of just all the tables and stuff. Uh, object hit points. If you're trying to smash something, yeah, great, it's there. Uh, objects of um, armor class for objects, stuff like that. All really, really good. Uh, and then page six here, we've got a whole list of weapons, weapon properties. Uh, and things like that. So it's really, really nice. It's just in one compendium. Now, essentially, all this is is a journal entry, um, or rather sev one journal entry with several pages on it that just have these imported in as images or PDFs, uh, and they're all there. Now, you can, if you wish to, um, I'm just going to find it for you, you can, if you wish to, actually download it directly um, from uh, the uh, Forgotten Adventures, um, and... It just comes down as a zip folder and then you've got all of those images yourself if you want to create your own. So what's what's really useful here, what Martin uh, Carlson has done really has just created this as a compendium. It just He's done it for us. He's basically created the journal for us. Um, just point out there are credits on the end here as well, um, just for, about the people who have done it uh, and some disclaimers, of course, that we need to always be careful of. All right. So, um, yeah, really, really handy. I like that. I, one of the best things I like about this is we can show players. So it's just a journal entry. We can say, actually, change ownership. Players, all players can, it may not modify the DM screen compendium, which is currently locked. <laughs> right. I can't share it. Tip. <laughs> one of the things you need to do is to, import it 
<laughs> so now I've got it over here and I can call it up direct from here. All right. Uh, now I should be able to show players. Let's check if that works. Uh, and I'm going to make them observers. And there we go. All right. So make sure you import it um, and don't make the mistake I just did. But you probably will. And if you do, that's how you fix it. Really is that easy. Uh, and now all of my players can see this. Uh, it will sit on their screen as players. It will sit on their right hand side amongst their journal entries that they can see. And they can reference this any time that they want to. They don't necessarily need to ask the DM a question. But oh yeah, how, how does that work? Oh, I just want to look at my damage types. Okay, go on then. Do it yourself. Don't need to slow the game down by doing that. So um, brilliant. Thanks very much for that one, Kent. I really like that. I think we'll probably ditch the GM screen and use this instead. And of course, because it is just a journal, we can add our own pages on if we want to. Um, nice, eh? I like that one. So a bit of an odd video here, a bit of half and half. Um, have some free tiles. Hopefully they're useful to you. If they're not, don't use them. <laughs> it's that, it's that simple. <laughs> um, but also, yeah, new DM screen for us. Thanks, guys. Take care.